Hey guys, get ready to go. We're going on a long drive to the kingdom today. That's Possum Kingdom. You might remember I was telling you about the phenomenon that happens after a big flood situation where they let water out. Well, that's what we're into today. We're gonna fish below the dam at Possum Kingdom Lake for huge Texas sized stripers. So strap it in, strap it on, and let's get going. Hey guys, we're at the dam at Possum Kingdom Lake, and I just want to show you the quick layout of Possum Kingdom Lake, the dam. Uh, right now we got more water than usual coming out over here, but if you look over there, there's a, there's a guy on the rocks over there. It's probably hard to see with a GoPro, it's a very wide angle, but anyway, there's a guy over there, and there's a couple guys over there. So what you want to do is stay behind the wire, but go ahead and get as close as you can. Be really careful, you're going to need a wading stick and spikes on your boots and waders, the water's cold. And uh, what you want to do is cast off into this big uh, pool up front. They call, some people call it the lagoon. Anyway, that's where you're casting off to is off in there and there's plenty of big fish in there. So that's where we are, Possum Kingdom, at the dam. It's November, middle of November, middle end of November. They shut off the water about four or five days ago. And out in, these, out in the middle here is a ton of dead fish. So I mean, there's a lot of fish that got released in here. You catch a lot of uh, stripers. You catch sand bass, gaspergoo, and uh, smallmouth, largemouth. This is one of the best places I've ever seen for the number of species you can catch in one place. Right here below the dam at Possum Kingdom Lake. So that's what's going on. Hope you enjoy it. And We'll talk to you later. There is a certain kind of rugged beauty at Possum Kingdom. It really doesn't translate into the name, but you'll see high cliffs, buzzards circling overhead on the best of days. And it's just a dry, arid place. It's not really West Texas, not really the hill country. Take a lot of water to drink. And keep your eyes open for all the different kind of wildlife you'll see. Done. You're, 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 yeah, you're done. I can tell by listening. I just, I'm just like, oh man. Don't break your rod. Yeah, you like that fly now, don't you? That fly won't let go, man. That's a circle hook. Get this glamour. Hey, my hand is broken. Okay. <laughs> Pretty ugly, I tell you.
Hey guys, I hope you had fun watching this video from Possum Kingdom Dam. As you can see, we've got stripers here of, of size. We've got hybrids that I caught. No video of that. No big deal. Um, big ones. And uh, that's two species. Sand bass, three species. Largemouth, four. Uh, basically a spotted bass hybrid, five. And I caught about a seven pound Gasper Goo, too. That's six. So six different species of fish caught today here at Possum Kingdom. And that's one of the things that I always forget to mention, it seems like, is that you can catch a lot of different species here. And it's just pretty fantastic. So keep that in mind, uh, that there's a lot of great species here. And the other thing you want to keep in mind is carry about an eight weight rod because you're going to need it. And the last thing to keep in mind, of course, you're going to have questions. So send those questions to me about flies and leaders and things like that. The last thing to remember is it's very, very slippery out there. So you've got to be careful. Take a wading stick if you've got one. Spikes on your boots. or And, you know, a wading stick, like I said. Or definitely if you've got a partner to go along, that's great to keep an eye on each other because I took one fall, almost took about half a dozen more. It's really a treacherous place right now. Now that's because there's big boulders that are slick sided. So you just go sliding down and it's uh, it's every bit as bad as Beaver's been uh, as far as that goes right now. As the, as the, the uh, weather gets colder and colder and the sky clearer and clearer, of course it'll kill off a lot of that algae and, and uh, things will be a lot less slick. The water clarity was very bad today. Uh, that means that you cannot see those rocks either. And if you can't see the rocks, you sure can't avoid tripping over them, which is what I did more often than not, is just tripping front, front over on them. So keep that in mind. I hope you had a great time watching this video. I hope you had as, fun, as much fun. Uh, no way, you, you couldn't have had as much fun watching it as I did doing it. This was a great day. It's a good break in the uh, in otherwise monotonous uh, early winter 2018. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check the website www.texasflycaster.com for more information about fly fishing in Texas. And we'll see you next week.